Two things have happened this week that officially made me an adult. Finally, finally, after fucking avoiding everything for my entire life, I've got the two things that really matter. I have my full driver's license. I'm no longer on my provisional green peas, which allows you to drive at about 80 k's per hour. Shout out to everyone who took my driving points for speeding and red lights because you only have four on your P's and I easily had about 18 points in fines and about $3,000 but that's neither here or there. So I got my full license this week and the other thing is they fucking, these fucking idiots. I had a drink driving charge. I talked about this previously. I had a drink driving charge from years back. They gave me my license. Then some dyke at Vic Road started digging into my file. I wasn't meant to get the license back until I went to court. Blah, blah, blah. Listen to the episode of drink driving. I'm pretty sure I said it on that. But now they gave me my full license. But on it, I have a condition that says I have a Z condition on it. And I was like, what the fuck is a Z condition? I literally said that to her. I'm like, what the fuck is a Z condition? Looking into her eyes. The lady at Vic Rhodes. Oh, what the fuck is a Z condition? She's like, oh, is that the type of language you use here? I don't give a fuck. (coughs) She's like, oh, you've got to be zero alcohol level. I'm like, what? I waited all these years to get my full license and I've got a Z on my fucking license. So literally the only thing I can do is take down my pee plates. That's it. I'm like, I don't even fucking drink, but I don't want that Z on my fucking license. Get it off. And then we had a big fucking thing. Then I had to spend like 10 hours on the phone to some cunt to take it off. And the second thing, (laughs) and the second thing that has made me a fully fledged adult today is I finally... I've been summoned to jury duty. Can you believe that? With all the shit on my fucking criminal record, they want me to do jury duty. I'm going to fucking do it too. And i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking podcast through the whole thing. And I can tell you this right fucking now. Whoever's trial I'm seeing over has a good chance of being not guilty. Let's just put it that way. Especially if it's a drug offence. If it's a drug offence, you're looking pretty safe. You're looking real fucking safe. If it's a rape and murder, then I'll have to listen and I'll have to judge. But if it's any type of drug offence, I will be not guilty. Even if they are guilty, I don't give a fuck. So I'll just podcast through the whole thing. I don't even want to get out of it. You get paid $40 a day. You get $40 a day for the first six days of attendance and then 80 a day thereafter. Your employer must pay the difference between this amount and what you would normally earn, including shift penalties and overtime payments. Yeah, good luck. I'm likely to get fired before then. I can't wait to see who I'm setting free. What I'm going to do is I'll podcast through the entire trial And I'll tell you all the details and which way I'm leaning. I'm leaning. I'm already leaning not guilty. And then once I get busted, then I'll be on trial. And the circle of life will continue. But I think it's all connected. I think I got my full license a few days ago. And now fucking jury duties come up. I haven't even voted. Plus, which I'll reveal in later episodes of this crazy, crazy podcast. I do have quite a substantial history with the police. So, so you know. I don't know how far I'm going to get through this. Although, my brother, who has schizophrenia and has been in jail, was taken out in the last round of jury selection. Can you imagine that? A schizophrenic criminal made it to the last round of... He was about to sit trial. He was about to be a juror on a murder case. My schizophrenic criminal, ex-criminal brother. Just let that soak in. 
if he can make it through those hoops, what other fuck is there? He wanted it bad. He really wanted it. He's like, it's 40 bucks a day, man. It's 40 fucking bucks a day. Like, he thought it was big cash. I'm going to really try. I'll be like a chameleon. Whatever I think the jury, whatever I think the lawyers want, I'll pretend I'm that and get on the jury. It'll be like, juror 6359422, what's your occupation? I'm like, <laughs> I'm a stand-up comedian, what are you, what are you up to? You should actually follow me on the podcast, it's called I'm Quitting Alcohol with David Boyle, comedian David Boyle. So that's something to look forward to, I'm going to gonna try and get on the jury. I actually have a juror number already. Alright, that's enough for tonight. See ya. See ya.